You're watching WATE 6 News at 6. So what do our top elected officials think about social media? Mm. Do they tweet? Would they <laughs> ever leave it to Facebook fans to decide a critical decision? We know all those questions and more were answered today as UT's Journalism and Electronic Media Department kicked off Social Media Week. I moderated the opening session, which included Mayors Madeline Rojero and Tim Burchett and public relations expert Mike Cohen. I think it's all about, to me, it's all about balance, finding that right balance. Today's session on politics and social media comes at a time when more and more people use social media to interact. Well, it, I think uh, Andy Griffith has said it best. It's bigger than big. It's big. It's estimated that nearly one in four people in the world use social media. By 2016, more than two and a half billion people worldwide will be tweeting and Facebooking. And that creates opportunities for elected leaders and those seeking office. Well, certainly it, it impacts us. It's a way that we communicate uh, to a broad group of people. It's another uh, venue for that and that also we receive, we get a lot of information that way. You put something out and I put things out and had hundreds of retweets and people days later come up and tell me something I'd said or something done. But Mike Cohen of Cohen Communications, while recognizing the significance of social media, wasn't convinced that it's an effective tool to get voters. He pointed out that social media tends to skew young and the young don't vote in any significant number. Numbers. But what it can do when applied correctly is show a side of an elected leader or candidate that voters might not necessarily see. That the uh, politicians are definitely uh, striving to make an effort to connect more um, with the community. They show their selfies on Twitter, and it's just fun to kind of you know connect with them on kind of a more personal level. Personalities, yes, but what about policy? Social media is filled with opinions. We don't make a decision based on just what we read on Facebook or, or on. Twitter, but it, it, it can influence and provide additional information just like public meetings, emails, phone calls, and, and public, you know, other ways of communicating. They all influence what we do. We're not a referendum state or community. Not every issue goes before the voters. That's why they elected me to make those tough decisions, and that's what I intend to do. Now, earlier this afternoon, Chris Geidner, legal editor of BuzzFeed, one of the hottest social media sites on the web, hosted a session essentially describing the inner workings of BuzzFeed and the legal ramifications around it. Now, social media, which WAT is proud to be one of its sponsors, continues through April 3rd. And, Lori, of course, we here at WAT mm -hmm. use a lot of social media. Just Every like, day. Just like the elected leaders. We leave the critical decisions to our bosses. Right. But certainly we, we ask folks out there to call us, to let us know on social media, right. all the things that influence uh, those. It's experience. an opportunity for call to action uh, for many of you and also for us to let you know what's happening out there. If there's a breaking news story, no longer do we wait or go on the air first. We go on Twitter first or Facebook and that's how we get the word to you. Now be sure to reach out to us when you've got a question or story idea. Again, social media, the way to go. You can reach us right here, newsroom at WATE.com, on Facebook at WATE 6 News or on Twitter at 6 News. News. I, I thought it was interesting as the panel members were talking about yeah. social media. A lot of folks in the audience were doing exactly what right. he's doing, taking hey, pictures and tweeting <laughs> in Facebook. With your phone, doing a selfie with your phone. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you works. don't want to leave your phone laying around when Matt's around. That's exactly right. Uh, to be honest with you, you know, that stuff revolutionized weather weather during severe weather oh, yeah. storms with sure people sending their pictures and those sort of things. So mm -hmm. we uh, we appreciate that. Yeah. Good job, Gene, by the way. Thin 